Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Lots of love and many blessings your way. I meant to mention this earlier. I'm just so repulsed by the entire situation, and it's not like it hasn't happened before. But we know the humanitarian Megan is trying to alleviate poverty worldwide. And if you're curious as to how she's going about that, let me share this with you real fast. So remember the other day when she paired up with her good buddy Stella McCartney to go ahead, gave her the green light, merch the coat I was wearing, it's yours. We're in on this together. And Stella quickly learned who runs the show in the royal family. It's certainly not Megan. Now as fast as the royal family caught wind of Stella having been given the okay by Megan to merch the coat that day, is as fast as she deleted the entire tweet. Along with the merch banner, Stella McCartney, who has had everything served to her on a silver platter her entire life, is a pretty big name in the fashion industry. And let's not twist it up, you guys. Let's keep it real. It's not because she's talented. It's because Daddy was a beetle. Her daddy is Sir. Sir Paul McCartney. So I'm assuming that Megan felt it was comfortable to go ahead and have her merch that coat. And the way Megan is alleviating poverty worldwide by making sure she's purchasing the highest priced rags made in the poorest countries by the most impoverished people. It's a pretty slick trick what Stella does. Manufactures her clothes in certain areas of the world that are completely poverty stricken. That coat happened to have been from Hungary the most poverty-stricken, statistically speaking, in the EU. The coat was made for $2.75 an hour, $50 worth of material, and she ups it to about $2,000. She's making a pretty good amount of money here. Off the sweaty backs of some hard-working people. A real humanitarian. I was reading about all of this. And I wanted to go in a little deeper. And do you know that the the young people, the the children, don't even say what they want to be when they grow up. That's how little hope for an educated future, a bright future that they have. They see mom and dad work like dogs, having bread with bread for dinner. That's the best they can do. And I find that to be heartbreaking when a child and a young adult have no dream, no aspirations, No hope for their future. Adidas has paired up with Stella McCartney, and she's come together with them to create this fitness wear, this active line. She goes to the cheapest labor that she can find. So it's like her manufacturers are all over the globe. Whoever charges less. She goes to this huge factory in Indonesia, these people make maybe two twenty-five an hour. Same scenario in Indonesia as it is in Hungary. These people are pulling 16 to 18 hour shifts at $2 and a quarter an hour. Okay, they're using maybe $20 worth of material, turning around, finishing the product, and then Stella gets to mark it up to an astronomical amount that weak-ass elite rich people are willing to pay. And you know... She claims to be a humanitarian. They all do. I'm assuming it does not bother her. They negotiated out at two and a quarter to two seventy five an hour for her garments to be made. She has the ability to negotiate what these people make in an hour. I'm curious if any of this ever bothers these people. You know, somebody asked me the other day in the comments, when is Kate going to be bashed? When are you going to run her through the mud? Well, let's see here. And I know Kate's not innocent, but her headband that she wore to the remembrance ceremony set her back about $18. While Megan showed up in a $25,000 pair of earrings. And we're to believe that Harry stays up at night with the weight of the world on his shoulders. They can blow that up somebody else's crack. And speaking of blowing smoke, you guys, We need to talk really fast about what's going on with this lawsuit. As it's being told to me, several attorneys are going down and visiting Mr. Markle, and they're getting every bit of their ducks in a row 
to fight this battle against Harry and Meghan. And what we're seeing out in the media right now that I've noticed is everybody's trying to play nice in Meghan and Harry's direction. Walking on eggshells around Harry and Meghan. But that's not going to last forever. And I'm hearing that all of this legal stuff is just backfiring in their direction. As it was told to me, do you guys remember those diaries we talked about like a year ago? Now it's being said that these diaries are about to come into play. And I don't think Megan wants that to happen. I think since this legal team is being paid for anyway by the media and they're already having to dot all their I's and cross all their T's and line their ducks up, don't you think it would be only right to go that extra step and at least investigate how, I don't know, Doria is now a multimillionaire? Because if your net worth can go from rags to riches in just a couple of years time, being a yoga teacher, I'm going to go get certified. Okay, you guys, I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. You guys stay safe and be blessed.